hello guys welcome to my channel today's tutorial is on trivers um, but before we start I would like to apologize I lost one of the clip for this tutorial uh, I just didn't want to um, delete the whole um, video um, please if you have any question please leave me a comment um, down below about this look and I'll be sure to reply each and every comment thank you so much stay tuned so as you can see, I applied some shine and jam and I'm just combing it through um, the hair um, before parting it. That is what gives you that neat look for your braids. So for this tribal look, I'm doing box braid under the feeding tribal braids. Um, some people do um, three layers or two layers um, feeding for the tribers, but I just prefer um, the box braid under because it's adds um volume to it it makes it look fuller um so it's up to you it's your preference however you like it
So here is the finished look guys. Um, like I said, I really do apologize. I mistakenly deleted one of the clip um, showing how I did um, the feeding um, braids on top. Um, please, like I said, leave me a comment down below uh, if you have any questions for this look. And also let me know if you would like to see another tutorial on this look on my channel. I will really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So I'm just applying um, some mousse that reduces um, freeziness. So it's, and it's just cooled down the scalp after all the pulling. And trust me, guys, this is a tedious style. This actually took me about um, eight hours um, to do. She wanted a waist um, length um, look. So it took me about eight hours um, total. So. So if you're somebody who wouldn't like to see for long getting their hair done, this style is definitely, definitely not for you. But it looks pretty, so it's really worth, I think it's really worth um, the time it's put into it and the sacrifice. And it does last long too, so that's something to consider think about so I'm just dipping the hands in hot water um, to seal the hands and it also gives it that um, natural looks and it's also um, makes it secure so it's not um, losing or anything like that and I'm just um, drying it on cool setting so there is no um, to make sure the moves and all everything and the water is dry so it's not moldy or itching after And I'm just applying more mousse at the hands where I just um, dip it in hot water. And I'm spraying um, some sprays just at the hands, not on the top of the braids. That also um, hold it so it's not, uh, it keeps it last long. Um, so it's not, some braids look um, rough after a few days or weeks after. It just makes it last longer and neater. So I'm just moisturizing it um, with braid sheen. I got this from um, Walmart. I will try linking it down below if you guys will um, like to get it. But it's really very good. Um, it smells good and it also um, prevents the hair from itching. And I'm just spraying some, um, some coconut uh, olive oil or sheen. And I will be laying the hedges and that's pretty much it's and in case you are wondering guys that was a <laughs> that was a hair brush not for the tint <laughs> and here is the finished look you did that oh my god <laughs> To me, it's round. That's why I didn't want it back or nothing. Oh, okay. This is the perfect style. Trust me, you choose the right one. Yeah, help hide all oh, this. I love it. Oh my God. Ooh, Lord. I ain't gonna know how to act when I go to work. <laughs> Just flip it. Everybody's gonna be like, "Who did your hair? Who did your hair? Who did your hair? Who did your hair?" Yeah. Did your hair? I'm gonna be like, "I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the information. Like, you better tell her I sent you to." Yeah. Oh my God! Everybody's gonna wanna know who did this. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, guys, my client was so in love with her hair. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please click the subscribe button. If you're on Instagram, Facebook, please follow me at sawdat112. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and have a blessed day.